Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 3 on Fourier transform. In the first part, we see some basic formulas on Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform. In addition, we did for Percival's identity. Then we see the basic definition on odd function and even function. And we use a very essential property needed for the whole unit Fourier transform that is integral minus a to a f of x dx. If it is an even function, then I can write it as 2 times 0 to a. If it is an odd function, immediately I will write it as 0 and then we solved a simple problem by taking f of x equal to 1 at the interval mod x less than or equal to a and we divide the problems into steps that is first step is very crucial for your transform and the next step may be Parcel's identity or inverse Fourier transform. It is according to the corresponding detections. In this problem, I have two detections. So, I use both inverse Fourier transform and Parcel's identity to derive the detections. In part 2 video, we solve a very important problem on a minus mod x. Here, at the detections, we always put a equal to 2, s equal to t, ds equal to dt and we achieve our deductions and the next problem we took as 1 minus mod x but initially students will think that both are same but in the case of deduction it is little different here when you do the deduction there is no a therefore we come to a situation to put s equal to 2t ds equal to 2 into dt and then we achieve our deductions 1 and 2 so those who don't watch the part 1 part 2 videos go to the playlist watch that videos first and come back to this video. In today's session, we are going to take an interesting problem a square minus x square. You see the level. At the first problem, we took 1. At the second problem, we took a minus mod x. The third problem, 1 minus mod x. Now, a square minus x square. Just we are going from the ascending order and we are going to do two deductions as usual like our previous problem. Okay, let us go into the problem. Step 1. Write the Fourier series formula f of x. f of x is a square minus x square at the interval minus a to a. I don't want to solve this problem as it is because it is tough. So, I am going for the expansion. We know that e power i s x is cos s x plus i sin s x. And you see a square is constant. It is going to be an even function. x square is also an even function. So, subtraction of a square minus x square is also going to be an even function. Therefore, we write a square minus x square is even function. When I multiply with cos even into even, it is going to be even function. When I multiply a square minus x square with sin, sin sx is an odd function, a square minus x square is an even function. Therefore, the total combination is going to be an odd function. Whenever we know it is an odd function, immediately by the property we made it as 0. And then we are going to write the remaining terms a square minus x square into cos sx. And I can apply the property and I will make this as 2 times square root of 2 by pi 0 to a into dx. Next as usual to solve the problem we need the help of Bernoulli. The Bernoulli's formula is integral u dv is equal to uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc etc. First we take the diminishing function a square minus x square as u. u dash is going to be minus 2x. u double dash is going to be minus 2. u triple dash is going to be 0. Next I will take dv is equal to cos sx dx. Integrating this will be getting sin sx by Yes, and integrating again will be getting v1 that is minus cos sx by s square. Then integrating again will be getting minus sin sx by s cube. Now mapping this will be getting uv u dash v1 u double dash v2. We will get three steps because the highest power is 2. Then after this everything will become 0. Now substitute this in the Bernoulli's formula and applying the limits we will be achieving our capital F of S. Let us see this. Now see the first term. If I put a, a square minus a square will become 0. If I put the lower limit sin 0 will become 0. Therefore, I make the full term as 0. 
and for the second and third terms whenever i substitute my lower limit sin 0 will become 0 here 2 into 0 will become 0 only upper limit exists cancelling this 2 and root 2 will be getting root 2 by root 5 here here minus into minus into minus is minus 2 when i apply my upper limit it will become a cos as divided by s square plus 2 into sin as by s cube if i take lcm and taking 2 in common will be getting 2 by root 5 s cube in the denominator sin as minus as cos as this is going to be my capital f of s we have to make sure we see the question here the question is sin t minus t cos t by t cube so from this i can generate this so i will take this as capital f of s and the denominator is s cube it is an odd function and numerator sin is an odd function minus s is an odd function cos is an even function odd into even odd so my numerator is an odd function my denominator is an odd function odd by odd is an even function therefore my capital f of s is an even function next we are going to apply inverse fourier transform to find the deductions now i want to eliminate the unwanted data that is e power minus isx next see the question from this data i want to get this deduction so i have to remove the unwanted terms like put x equal to 0 which will eliminate e power isx it makes 1 because of e power 0 then put a equal to 1 then the whole term will become sin s s cos s divided by s cube then put s equal to t everything will convert into this term and ds equal to dt if you do this i can get the problem like this now since x is 0 my left hand side also will become f of 0 next we know that f of x is a square minus x square at the interval minus a comma a here we take a as 1 so 1 minus x square when i put 0 f of 0 will become 1 minus 0 simply 1 now we are going to substitute the value and taking this 2 by pi to the other side will be getting pi by 2 of f of 0 we know that that is going to be 1 from step 1 we know that this is an even function using the property i can write this as 2 times 0 to infinity the function dt is equal to pi by 2 bring the 2 to the other side will be getting pi by 4 that is my final solution we completed deduction 1 next we are going for the second deduction obviously we are going to use Parswell's identity because inverse Fourier transform gets over now substitute the value of capital F of S and small f of X on both sides now I want to remove the unwanted terms because I want to prove sin t minus t cos t divided by t cube whole square dt is pi by 15 so the unwanted terms here a I'll put a equal to 1 then s equal to t ds equal to dt it will convert into the quotient next simplifying this when you do the square it will become 2 square is 4 root 2 is 2 root pi is pi so we will be getting 8 by pi on the other side we substitute the limit alone so minus a will become minus 1 a will become 1 a square will become 1 here now we can see both sides the function as square therefore it is obviously both functions are even function so i can write this as 2 times 8 by pi the data dt is equal to 2 times 0 to 1 1 minus x square whole square dx now i can cancel this 2 and 2 and push this 8 by pi to the other side now to integrate this it is very important i cannot integrate this as it is so 1 minus x square whole square is 1 minus 2x square plus x power 4 integrating this we will be getting pi by 8 x minus 2x cube by 3 plus x power 5 by 5 integral 0 to 1 if you substitute the limit we will be getting 1 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 lower limit is 0 now students as i said use your calculator just put this value like this and you will be getting some decimal see your calculator there is a button called a b by c in shift i think it is in yellow color there is a button b by c so press shift and use this button then it will give the answer immediately in terms of fraction your decimal will be converted into fraction and it will show like 815 that means it is simply 8 by 
15. Okay, why I am telling this? Sometime you may do error minus plus calculations in LCM. So, you will be getting the answer. Now, cancelling this 8, we will be getting the answer 5 by 15. This is my final answer. So, both deductions we have completed. Now, the same problem, they will change the first deduction in a different way and they will ask. That is what our next target. This can be achieved directly because just now we solved. See here, here my first deduction is little different. See my previous question, sin t minus t cos t by t cube dt. Here it is sin x minus x cos x by x cube. That is okay. The extra term is there, cos x by 2. It comes from the inverse Fourier transform. Let us see in the problem. So, the extra term cos x by 2, how to deal this? We are going to see in the problem. As usual, from the previous problem, we get the same f of s because the question is same, only deduction is different. Now, we take inverse Fourier transform, substitute it. See here, I want cos. I want this. Now, I cannot put x0. If I put x0, e power 0 will become 1. I will never get cos x by 2. So, expand this. We know e power minus isx is cos sx minus i sin sx. I am writing this. And we know that this is going to be an even function. Initially, we said. Now, cos is an even function. Sin is an odd function. So, multiplying this two will generate an even function. And multiplying this two will generate an odd function. This is what I need. I need one cos sx term. So, obviously, this is going to be zero. I am rewriting this. Now, since it is an even function, I can write it as 2 times 2 by pi. Nothing wrong in it. In the beginning of the problem, I am writing. Even you can write at the end of the problem. Wherever you can make the transition, nothing going to affect your answer. Next, what we have to do? We have to compare this data with the deduction what I have to do. See the question. We have sin x minus x cos x divided by x cube. This is similar. So, I don't want to touch this part. Here I have cos Sx. So, I can't touch yet because S is involved everywhere. So, I have to change x. Here it is 1 by 2. The A is disturbing me. I will put A equal to 1. Next, cos Sx. Here I have cos x by 2. For S, I am going to change into x. So, I don't want to disturb now. This extra x value when I put is equal to 1 by 2, it will exactly match with this. So, a equal to 1, x equal to 1 by 2. When I put x equal to 1 by 2, my LHS will become f of 1 by 2. We know that f of x is a square minus x square. So, f of 1 by 2 is a value is 1. 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square. That is 1 minus 1 by 4. It is going to be 3 by 4. Now, substituting the value of f of 1 by 2, that is nothing but my 3 by 4. And finally, comparing with my question, it has x terms and my data has s. So, it is very simple. Put s equal to x, ds equal to dx. I will achieve this. We will be getting the deduction. So, either they can ask this deduction or the previous deduction which we see in the problem number 5. A next problem is 1 minus x square. So, I don't want to do this because a minus mod x and 1 minus mod x, we have little change. But here, if you do the problem a square minus x square, 1 minus x square is exactly same as like a square minus x square. So, I just give this problem as a practice problem for yourself students. And with this, we end this session. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.